All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the R5 review product durability test. So I recently just uploaded some videos to show me out bashing, um, sending the thing, obviously. So I'm going to give you a quick overview and you tell me what you think initially. Post your comments in the, in the comment section below. Tell me if you think this is still a quality RC. Before you proceed on to this, definitely have an idea if you think you would still buy this RC from what you see here, okay? Because this video is full of surprises and full of information that is very valuable to your wallet. You may go spend money or you may save a lot of money. You will find out in this video. As always, I appreciate you for watching and let's get started in this review of the Red Cat R5. Okay, so in the last review video, I kind of got cut off because my battery died. So, e Revo 2.0 bumper. Notice we're missing rear shock body mount. Well, rear body post mounts. The S, yes, those completely broke off. So, that's going to be a fix. Hmm, wonder how much that's going to cost. Let's continue down here. I did have a spare Velcro strap, so I fixed that up. Continuing here, everything's looking nice. Still using my adapters. If you've watched the videos, yes, sometimes they did come unconnected while bashing. Continuing on. Front body posts are fine. Front shocks are fine. Front bumper. Guess what? Yep, you guessed it. It's broke. All right. So, let's get to the real business. Um, as I've told you guys, this RC is a pile of crap. I've told people not to buy it, and people keep saying, oh, post a video, show us all the problems, we don't believe you. Well, here's the proof of the pudding. All right, everything looks pretty kosher, right? Doesn't look anything too out of place. Well, let's take a closer look here. All right, yep, that's broke. That's really thick, heavy plastic to be breaking, by the way. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. Completely snapped it in half. Yeah, fix that, Red Cat. Oh, what do we got below there? Oh, we got a dog bone just lying there. Oh, wonder what would cause that. Well, it's going to be a little hard to get in, in frame here. Um, but basically, my whole chassis brace plate here is actually bent. So when this, when this broke, and it broke on both sides. It didn't just break on one side, it broke on both sides. So basically now, I have an unusable RC, okay? And yes, this has, has broke, or bent some. So my, like I said, I'm trying to figure out the best way to show you guys this. But basically, my rear tower mount and stuff is actually pointing like that. It's at an angle like that, okay? So, this RC is completely unusable, okay? It's broke, like, until either I can replace this and figure out if I can bend this plate right here back so that my rear diff and everything is straight and will hold in my dog bone, it's, it's done, like, this is $700 down the drain right here, guys. And you watch my bash video of what I did today. Yeah, I wrecked it, but I expect to wreck when, while I'm bashing. And I expect to have some tumbles and rolls. But I also expect an RC to be able to take some serious beat-ins and perform. Obviously, there was little to no product durability testment, testing with this. And it just goes to show because... I have a completely unusable Red Cat R5. So let's go over the body, look over the body because that's also something that's kind of crucial with, with an RC, okay? So I'm just gonna put it on here. All right, that's the back of it, okay? This is where most of the damage occurred. Obviously you can see here, we're actually 
when we're landing, we're landing hard enough that we're pushing the shock shocks into the Lexan body. Okay, that's how heavy this RC is. Okay, on the side here, there's a little bit of a dimple, nothing too major. The real damage is gonna be here on the back. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like much until you see that. Oh, oops, yeah, corner completely cracked and broke. So this this body, for those of you who have never looked into fixing an R5, that's a $112 body right there. So, yeah, that's a spendy fix, if I can even fix the thing. The R5 retails at $799. Straight up, save you another $100, save you another $300, or altogether, don't go fifth scale and save a lot of money. But as far as fifth scale is concerned, the only RC on the market I can tell you to buy with good, honest opinion, because I've drove one and I've bashed them hard, is an X-Max. I will straight up tell you every day of the week, next 24 hours, next 365 days out of the year, do not buy this RC in its current status. Because you cannot bash this RC. I personally believe... The reason it's not a bashable RC is the weight kills this RC. So either Red Cat has to go back to the drawing board on this RC or more than likely what will happen is people are still going to buy this RC because it's big, it's cool. I did it, but I also bought it knowing that was there was little to no reviews on this product. So I went out with the intention of buying this product and reviewing it for people who love to RC bash just as I do. And I'm telling you, I, I don't take it easy on my RCs at all. I have an E-Revo 2.0 and I have an Arma Outcast and I destroy them. And they, at the end of the day, keep running and keep ticking. Yeah, do I have to replace the steering servo or fix the rear shock tower? Yeah, absolutely. But I'm not having to completely rebuild an RC's chassis brace that shattered in half. Okay. I don't have to deal with front CVD issues. I don't have to deal with battery straps breaking. I don't have to deal with bumpers breaking. You know? I mean, I can't even take these tires off and put them on another RC because that is such a huge, huge nut bolt. You know? I can't even use them on another RC. So they're going to sit on this chassis and I don't even know what's going to happen. Clearly, I've, I've got to reach out to Red Cat. Show them everything that's wrong with this RC, and we'll see what they're going to do. Time will tell, but I'll tell you this right now. Do not buy a Red Cat R5. Do not do it. If you already have one, sell it. Get your money out of it while you can, because once people watch this video, they're, they're honestly going to think twice about buying this RC, and they may not want to buy your R5. So... Thank you everyone for watching. I know I come across kind of angry and annoyed on this video, but I generally am. This is a $700 RC, and it's now worth $0.10. Cents. So, thank you for watching. Post your comments down below, because I'd love to hear what you would think about this RC, and what you think about my review process, and be honest with me. If you think I was too hard on this RC... Post it in the comments below. I honestly don't even think I was that hard on this RC. Basically, this RC's been problem from day one. And now we're at like day five of actually bashing. And it didn't hold up. So, anyways, that's enough with the rant and raving about the pile of crap R5. It's going to go sit in the closet and collect dust now. Until I can maybe get parts for it. And I might not even want to get parts for it because it might be pretty expensive to get fixed. So... Anyways, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, enjoy the shenanigans. Go out, bash, have fun with the RCs you have, and hopefully you don't end up with the problem I have.